Hello everybody and welcome to Zombie Nation. We talking about The Walking Dead. The new episode, Ain't a Judas, I believe that's what it's called. Now, Merle is now part of the team. He's working pretty well with them. At least that's what it looks like. He tells them what the governor's gonna do to him and all that. See, well, at least he tells it to Herschel. And, um, they're trying to get Rick to be a leader. He said there's no dis democracy or whatever. He's he's basically the boss, but now he's like lost his mind and talking to ghosts, going to see a, going to see his dead wife and stuff like that, seeing things. And then the governor, he lies and and tells uh, Andrew. I keep want to say it's Andrea, but keep want to say Andrea, which I don't know why. But yeah, he lies and says that, well, she finds out that he went to the prison, so, so she asks why he lied to her and all this, and she wants to go to the prison, and he's like, if you leave, you're not coming back, but she does leave, and she ends up coming back, she meets, talks to the group, and they say, well, he told her that they shot at him first, which was a lie, and um, she asks about all the other members like Shane and all that and well, Shane is dead, Rick killed him also what's his name, Carl actually killed him the second time when he became a zombie but they didn't say that but then again they don't know that so yeah Lori is dead and all these other T-Dog and that prisoner was killed and Herschel was just being an asshole telling Rick you'll need to be you need to um, step up and stop acting like this. You're supposed to be our leader. You're not acting like one. And then, of course, his son tells him, you need to quit. And he's like, quit what? You need to quit being the leader and take a break. Well, we all know Rick. He ain't going to take a break. He's going to be, let let Herschel and Daryl be the leader of the team. Let them do that well. In the next episode, supposedly, He's taking um, Michonne and his son with him. I don't know where the hell they're going. It never was explained. But yeah, after Andrea comes back, she sleeps with the governor. And then she's going to kill him. She's going to stab him. And then she don't do it. I don't get it. So that's what she was supposed to do. That's what Carol told her to do. And she failed. She didn't kill him. But... If she would have killed him, what would happen? I mean, you need a main villain, I guess. At least for this season. And, I mean, there's more that goes on in there, but there's the, that one girl, Maggie's sister, starts singing at the end of the show. Which she has sang before, I believe. And they're all kind of standing around. Merle also talks to um, Michonne. Andrew talks to Michonne. But Michonne does not like uh, Andrea basically kind of betrayed her and decided to stay with the governor and not stand by her side. And, you know, it's just like, blah, 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 talk, 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 talk. But yeah, it was a good episode. Not as, I didn't like it as much as I liked the last episode because it was action. There was some action in there. There was a couple of, like, Andrea would, like, hit those zombies in the face with an axe or whatever and she cut one of them's arm off and... Did it like a curb stomp thing on a rock to one of the zombies and broke his jaw, and then she walked him or walked him to the, the uh, to the prison, and that's how she got to the prison. But when she left the prison, she took a call. So that was um that's pretty much what happened in this episode. Even though I didn't mention it all at the same time, I kind of like split in different parts of it. So and I kind of told you the ending, but. Most likely, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you already knew what happened, and you already watched this episode. I'd say it was pretty good. It was... It was your little idea of what's gonna happen, you know? Rick's soon enough gonna meet the governor and kick his ass, hopefully. And he's like, they got an... Oh, yeah, he's trying to build... The governor's trying to build an army and have, like, kids and stuff like that. Basically, learn how to fight and use guns and stuff like that, but... We all know they're just going to die, and there's Tyrese in the group is actually over there by um, Westbury now, and um, or Woodbury, or whatever it's called, and um, 
they're going to join and say they're going to help. And those two guys that obviously don't like Rick, saying he's crazy, they're going to be the first ones to die. Rick's going to kill them. But, or at least somebody in the group's probably going to kill them because they're a bunch of idiots. But that's beyond the point. Hopefully Tyrese actually joins Rick's team. That's what I want. And Merle's doing a pretty good job as well. Hopefully he stays part of the team but causes a little bit of trouble. That's what he's good at. That's what he needs to do. Anyways, that's it for me, people. That's Zombie Nation. Tell me what you liked about The Walking Dead this week. And if there's anything else you want me to talk about, I'm going to do a comic book review. So don't worry about that. I got things to do. Goodbye.